What's, What's up, up guys? guys? We're back with another video. I'm Lex. And I'm Chris. If you guys are new here, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below as well as to turn on your post notification bell button so you are notified every single time we do post a brand new video. I'm sure you guys are aware of everything that's going on with COVID-19, but here where we are in Canada, we are under lockdown right now, so we're hoping to have more time to put out more videos for you guys so you can keep up to date with us. We hope you guys are all being safe out there and practicing social distancing as it is spreading a lot more rapidly than everybody thought. So please just stay at home, stay comfy, stay safe, and keep watching our videos. Every video. Since we've started our channel, we've gotten a lot of questions and some assumptions from you guys at home. So today's video is gonna be us just answering all of the questions and assumptions that we've gotten from you guys and kind of giving you a little bit more of an insight into our everyday lives. Keep watching till the very end of the video because we have a super huge announcement that we're excited to share with you as well as a contest that we currently are running. So with all that being said, let's get into it. Okay guys, so we have a list here of questions from some of you guys at home and we're just gonna kind of go through that and uh, answer the best that we possibly can. Some of these are gonna be a little uh, hard to answer. Uh, question number one from at Vacation Impossible. They asked us, what is your favorite travel destination? You haven't really gone anywhere though. I've only been I out of the country like once and I think I was like maybe 11 or well, and it was back home. Back right? home in the Philippines. That's the only place I've really been to. Well then for you, what's one place that you like want to go? Uh, Manhattan. Manhattan? <laughs> what? I'll be generic. I'll say Hawaii. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm down for Hawaii. Um, I've never been to Hawaii. I've been to Cuba and Florida. So out of all of that, I'd probably say Cuba would be the definite winner. No offense to Americans on our channel watching us right now, I guess. <laughs> At Christina Jackson asked, what do you do to maintain a healthy relationship? You feed her. You feed him. And you buy her stuff. <laughs> and you, you feed him. <laughs> Just feed me, I'm okay. But for all, for all seriousness, um, to maintain a healthy relationship, we always say that you need like a structured base. Yeah, we were friends first. Mm -hmm. So, and I think that friendship as a base of any relationship really does help. However, if you're not in that situation, like the basics like trust, honesty, communication, we really thrive from that in our relationship. So, I think to really maintain a relationship that is healthy, you need that kind of base. This one's from at Lauren and Ollie. What was the main reason for you starting YouTube together? For me, I'm pretty sure we'll both have different answers, but for me, it was just so we have something that we can also look back on in the relationship. It was a lot about making sure that we had like memories to be able to like show our kids and you know, be able to laugh at ourselves or whatever, you know? Yeah, so for me as well, like I like learning how to elaborate more yeah. on my editing. Lex full time is a graphic designer, so him with graphics and our editing he always tries to kind of like i try to up. one up everything yeah every single video he tries to make it a little bit better but for you guys you may, maybe you won't notice but yeah. if you do that's great for me i kind of wanted to do it because i've always wanted to do it and i've never really had somebody that i could really engage in it with the proper way and i've also always been very outgoing and loud so i think that as a platform, YouTube kind of gives me the ability to do that. At Mimi and Joseph says, how good are you at communication? What do you do to make it easier? This one's kind of not that hard. We talk every day. We live with each other most of the time. Mm -hmm. um, we're best friends. We're very honest with each other. So we pretty much tell each other everything. For me, downtime at work, I will send her memes. That's one thing you can do because you can talk yeah. about them after and then you can also make her laugh. And plus, he just loves the sound of my voice every day. So whenever he is on lunch or on a break, he calls me like the sweet man he is. And I get to hear him too. It, the communication takes a lot to work on, especially if you're not good at it yourself. Um, but practicing it every day with small things like making sure that you're checking up on the person you're with from making sure that you're expressing how you feel in certain situations. It's just the little things that kind of get you to, to that point. 
What you may think is annoying to ask probably isn't. Make sure that you please put down in the comments the proper pronunciation of your name or your your username so we do know for the future and we apologize if we butcher it. <laughs> At Obia Jelly Woye asked us, how do you handle jealousy? You don't. You don't. No. Um. Honestly, again, it comes to the whole honesty thing. I like to say when you're in a relationship with somebody, the only way to know if they're mature or not enough to be in a relationship, whether it's with you or anybody for that matter, is if you're able to come to them with an issue that they have. And because they know that it's your feelings and it's how you feel about something, they're able to understand that and either find a way to combat an in-between or to appreciate and respect your issue and go from there to work on them not doing that again. I don't know, how do you how do you feel on a guy's end for jealousy? How do you deal with it? Because girls get jealous, we get jealous, like hardcore. I feel like I don't, like I do get jealous, but at the same time I kind of don't. It's kind of weird on the scale as in like, if I were to get jealous, I just, it makes me feel like I don't trust her, but I trust her a lot, so if she were to do anything to mess this up, what we have, then that's on her accord. So mm -hmm. it all boils down to how much you trust the person at the end of the day. I don't really feel overly jealous. At Fade to Black LLC asked, what kind of animal do we have? Well, it says specifically, do you have? But well, we have one, one together. We do have one together. Do you guys want to see him? He's right here. This is he. <laughs> Go this to his pickle. video. Yeah, you guys want to <laughs> click right up. I think it's gonna be like right up here. You can go watch a video of when we got him. His name is Pickle. He is the cutest little guy in the world. I have a two-year-old puppy at home. He likes to call her a horse, but she's a chocolate Labrador retriever, and her name is Samantha. I have a leopard gecko whose name is Toothless. We named him before that name became a fad. My sister and I. He's going on. He's going on 15, probably. Mm -hmm. And then we have Bailey, my Shipu. He kind of looks like an Ewok from Star Wars. He's the cutest little he's, thing. He's great. It's Teddy yeah. Bear. He's, he's Teddy Bear. He's an old guy too. Yeah. All right. So this one is from at Valentina Casas. How long have you been together? One day, in quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we like to say that we've been together for three years, just to kind of round up. Yeah, because with any number, you like to round up, not down. Yeah, <laughs> always. Um, we officially started dating in September, so we don't really like to put a thing on it because we were also friends <laughs> before yeah, that for in like August, four months. <laughs> we labeled it, uh, well, I labeled it as us being unofficially officially together. We were officially unofficially official. <laughs> yeah, that's what yeah. I said. That's what I said. So yeah, that's how long we've been together. It's kind of an in-betweener thing. But we say three years. Uh, Drea's Adventures asked, how did you meet? On Facebook. <laughs> we didn't meet on <laughs> Facebook. He keeps telling people this, this is a lie. Yeah, you're right. We met on Messenger. Oh my God. <laughs> we, we didn't meet each other on Messenger. So we both ended up being dance counselors, the only dance counselors at the YMCA that we worked at. And we kind of just became really close friends uh, very rapidly. And then stuff happened and there was a lot of- We bought a $10 subscription and we became friends plus. It's kind of like we just got each other. That's what I always like yeah. to say to people. As soon as like you, you have that feeling like you just know, it, it's real and I never believed in it in, until I met Alex. So for all you guys thinking that there's nobody, just wait, it'll come. So that's it for the questions that we've chosen from everybody. Uh, but we're gonna move on to the assumptions next. But before we do that, we want to say that we'll be switching our schedule finally to bi-weekly. So you'll get two videos every month instead of just one. It's gonna be every other Sunday that we'll be releasing a new video starting after this one. We'll also be doing vlogs and we'll be posting them on Fridays or Saturdays if we feel like it. So now we're on to the assumptions. This one's from at April and... At April and Rassian. Tell us if we're wrong on that in the comments. I almost have raisin. This assumption is you've broken up and gotten back together a couple of times. Every day. No. <laughs> no, we've never done that. <laughs> That's not our thing. We don't believe in that. At the essayist. The perfect meaning of a power couple. Aw, oh, thanks. We're pretty strong. No, we're really weak. We need to go to the gym. We're moderate. We're moderate. <laughs> At Tube About Fun gave us the assumption that we are high school sweethearts 
and our relationship blossomed into what it is today. I'm sorry, you were wrong. Sadly, he is not my high school sweetheart, but I definitely wish he was and could have been, but we'll never know. At Tarzi Mello, you're beautiful and you know it, but you didn't have that much confidence before as you do now. Honestly, backtracking into my personal life, I got bullied a lot in school when I was younger, so I really didn't have any confidence at one point in my life. Um, and it was a really hard time. But eventually when I got older and I learned that the people who I was around wouldn't matter to me in five or 10 years down the road and eventually I come across this too. It's, you know, you, your confidence kind of just gets boosted from there and then, you know, you start kind of feeling yourself a little bit more and you know, I just, I, I had to work on me. So yeah, I can vouch for that. I. Definitely do think I am beautiful in my own way, and I do know it, at least now. But no, I did not think that before. Yeah, you're beautiful. Uh, at Just Crap, you guys love to match your clothes. <laughs> yes. Yes. A <laughs> uh, couple of things we have that are the same. We have some green sweaters. Green sweaters. We have but... plaids. Uh, one plaid onesies. We have white sweaters. We have shoes. We do. We have baseball tees. We have mm -hmm. a lot of stuff, man. We were <laughs> twinning before we even met. At Toonch and Tarina TV. You guys met on social media? Mm, no. Yes. No. <laughs> no, we didn't. At Vacation Impossible also had an assumption for us, and it was that we do not have a plan for our channel if we break up. Well, we're not planning on breaking up, so no, we don't have a plan for that. There probably wouldn't be You just press the delete channel. button. Yeah, pretty much. We're not planning on that ever happening because um, if you like it, you should have put a ring on it. And he did, so yeah. <laughs> At Drea's Adventures also gave us an assumption, and the assumption that they gave was that we both waste a lot of money on cosplay outfits. Also not true. Not really, no. We waste money on different things. Yeah, <laughs> but not cosplay outfits. I can say for the last time that we went, if you guys go up here to our video of Fan Expo Canada, we bought Silk and Spider-Man costumes, which is probably why somebody would think that or assume that about us. Um, but that's or we the just only time. Like the type. Yeah, or we just look like the type. Other times that we dressed up like Halloween or when we went the past year to Fan Expo, it was mostly DIY because uh, we like to save as much money as we possibly can. At Trigonometry, you guys look like you play video games together. Uh, I mean, we try. <laughs> we don't have next gen consoles. Like we're still yeah. on a Nintendo Wii. We are. And a 360. But for us, Alexis taught me how to play Halo, uh, which I never played before. I kind of showed him my version of Black Ops on the Wii that I used to love playing because it's actually kind of like point and shooting because uh, I used to be in cadets when I was younger. So for me, it was kind of like I was always actually shooting at something with a real firearm. So that's what I'm used to. I sit there when he tries to teach me how to play Halo and I'm like, she throws my her whole arms. body. <laughs> It's like she's, <laughs> it's like she thinks she's in VR. She'll be shooting, I'll be like, get him, he's to your right. Foo! <laughs> At Moises Wall, Alex is the better dancer. No. no. <laughs> definitely not. Alex is not the better dancer, it's definitely me. But the kids at the Y that we had, had fun with my dancing. I could say Alex is really good at coming up with choreography. On the spot, hell no. On the spot, no, he needs time more on the spot for me. I don't really want to say that he's actually not the better dancer in that I am because we do both have different styles. Um, but in in regards to choreographing and teaching and sturdy movement, I'd probably say that I'm more along the lines of the better. better. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and then this is a very special shout out. We had to put this one in here. Uh, one of our kids from the YMCA that we love and miss very much at Nick underscore 907.9 <laughs> He gave us the assumption that you both found each other by listening to Taylor Swift with a bunch of 10 year olds <laughs> And it's 
He's not wrong. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. <laughs> yeah, because we worked with kids around the ages of like four to 13. Yeah. So, I mean, just playing music to kind of get them to go where you need them to go. There was always one song that I played around him, and that was You Belong With Me <laughs> by Taylor Swift. I can vouch, and all of our kids can <laughs> vouch. You belong with me now, so it's okay. Mm hmm. So that is it for this question and assumptions video, guys. We hope that you enjoyed it and kind of got some answers that you were looking for. If you are still looking to ask us anything, please by all means throw it down there in the comments. DM us on our Instagram. These are all of our socials down below. Make sure that you guys link us and tag us and ask us whatever you so please. We'll make sure to answer them for you guys. Now on to the big news. We finally hit our 200 subscriber mark. Woo! <laughs> Throwing confetti going everywhere. It's a small stretch goal, but we're actually really happy and thankful that we hit our 200 subscriber count and we wouldn't have done it without you guys. So thank you everybody once again for all your love and support and hopefully you guys continue to keep watching our videos and keep up to date with us. So now that we have hit our 200 subscriber goal, all of our subscribers, you know what that means. It is time to announce the winner of the $25 Amazon gift card. You guys ready? Honey, drum roll, please. Congratulations. Congratulations. You are the winner of our Road to 200 giveaway. Thank you so much for tuning into another video, you guys. We hope that you enjoyed it as much as we did. Please, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe down below and turn on those bell notifications so you are notified every single time that we do post a new video. We would love to have you guys become a part of the K&L family as soon as possible and join us on the hashtag Road to 500. Well, that's it for this video, you guys. We'll catch you in the next one.